With the Omega Moon Swatch taking the world by storm with its release last year in 2022, since then there has been a newfound craze over Omega timepieces from all over the world. Luckily for us, we live in Switzerland and we decided to give a visit to the Omega Museum located in Biel, Switzerland. Omega Museum today and this is a super interesting activity to do on a weekend and especially if you're trying to find something that is free to do because this is one of the rare museums that has a free entrance. The Omega Museum was newly reopened in 2019 after moving to its new premises. It offers visitors a concise brand history of Omega through an exhibition marked with interactive films and fun activities. The museum is open from Tuesdays to Fridays from 11 to 6 p.m. On weekends, it is open from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. As soon as you enter the museum, you will be greeted by the friendly staff who will show you the way to the cloak area where you can hang your coats and jackets. Lockers are also available to store your bags if needed. You can start the museum tour however you want, but it is encouraged to take the lift up first and start from the top floor with the Swatch exhibition, then down to the Omega exhibition. At the start of the tour, the staff will hand you an audio guide which is available in various languages. Just key in the number you see on the exhibition wall and it will play with in-depth explanation on each exhibit. The visit starts with the History of Time, a 5-minute, 360-degree immersive video that travels back in time to ancient civilization and showcases mankind's journey with the art of timekeeping. Egyptians divided the day into 24 hours. 12 hours of daytime, counting the markers. Once the video ends, the cinema doors open and you are led out through a 50 meter steel bracelet corridor with 64 treasury windows. From each of these windows unfolds the brand's long and distinguished history. The next section of the exhibition was dedicated to Omega's role in the Olympic Games. Omega became the first watchmaker to time in Olympic Games in 1932, the year of the Los Angeles Olympics. Since then, it has been entrusted the role of official timekeeper at nearly every single Olympic Games. So this is like a fun timekeeping machine that you can test your timekeeping skills versus the Omega watch. So let's try it. And it's faster. The biggest part of the exhibition centers on Omega's involvement in NASA's manned space program, including the historic Apollo 11 mission and the first lunar landing. Omega's Speedmaster Professional was qualified in 1965 by NASA as the only watch for all manned space missions. With the successful Apollo 11 landing on July 21st, 1969, the Speedmaster became the first watch on the moon and hence for forever known as the Moon Watch. I'm supposed to stop this after 14 seconds. Oh my god, can I do it? <sighs> One, two, three. Oh, oh okay. Shit. I'm a bit too early. The last section of the exhibition is sure to delight all James Bond fans where James Bond movie posters are displayed alongside the watches worn by James Bond at each movie.
After an hour at the Omega exhibition, we headed downstairs to the Swatch exhibition. I felt like there were less historical information presented here, but the focus was really more on showcasing the outstanding designs of Swatch watches over the years. Wow, look at all these watches. I always like Swatch watches because of the designs. They are very very colourful and vibrant. I do have a swatch I'm wearing right now. It's the moon swatch. <laughs> These are the Christmas watches. Wow, what is this? And how it opens. It's super cool, you can like choose your own designs and you can make your own swatch and customize it. I think it's quite fun that you get to choose a design that you like that is different from what is store bought at the store. Here to take a selfie. I mean, take a picture with this. Take a picture with our swatch. And then it's gonna print out. Thank you. After your visit at the museum, you can head directly to the Omega Boutique, which is right next door. This is where you can try out some of the rare Omega timepieces and also get your hands on it by a purchase. For Swatch lovers, the Swatch Boutique is also just outside the museum and at our time of visit, we saw that there were quite a number of moon swatches still available. I know that it's out of stock in plenty of countries, so perhaps Switzerland is still your best choice when you want to get your hands on the moon swatch.